So, like many of us, we were taught how to play chess by our dads or grandfathers. So, indeed, my dad taught me how to play chess. And we actually came across some chess pieces which were my great great granddad's recently. And my dad's birthday was coming up. So, I thought I'd make him a chess board. Here you go. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. That's great. Wipe the paper. Wow. Now that is brilliant. So a chessboard is made up of 64 squares. Each square for a regulation chessboard needs to be 2 inches by 2 inches big. Now I want to make it out of a birch ply and I also want to bevel all the edges and I'll do the black in the charcoal rubio and I'll do the white squares in the white rubio monocoat. Now to keep, so obviously with a thing you have your grain in the board so to start off what I am going to do is take a board slightly bigger than two foot by two foot I'll cut it into strips first like so and I'll do this on the table saw and then I'll cut each one into squares like so and I'll do this using a miter saw now obviously I have to make sure that I keep all these squares in order otherwise we will lose the pattern for the finish I've cut out all 64 squares I've labelled every single one in numerical order so I keep the grain pattern that I was talking about I actually made this plate to take my trim router and we shall just clamp this to my bench run all the pieces through and put a nice little 45 chamfer edge onto all these pieces now Now it's time to get some finish onto the pieces. Now they've all been sanded, and denibbed, and cleaned with a wood prep. I'll be using the Rubio Monaco Oil Plus 2C charcoal for the black portion, and I'll be using the white for the white portion. So, first off, is to split it all up. So, say A1 is black, and then every other one diagonally. So, now they're all separated, obviously, you want to keep them well away from each other because we do not want to be getting the Rubio contaminated onto the other pieces. Uh, I did actually also number all these on the back with an arrow pointing the direction they are. We're going to mix up the Rubio monocoat so it's three parts of the actual pigment part A and one part of the accelerator um, here. So I'm going to go with roughly, I'm going to go about 20, 20 millimetres or 20 millilitres in total. I think that should be there, there, there enough. And again, I'll apply it with a scrubby pad, a beige scrubby pad, then we'll wipe it off with a lint free cloth. Well, they're finally all done. What we are going to do is just let them dry first. Uh, make sure it's very important, as with all finishes, that you dry the rags out properly before you screw them up and put them in the bin because there is a risk of combustion, which obviously causes a fire. So now the glue's dried, I went ahead and I trimmed up the board to make it nice and square again. I've also put some Rubio charcoal on the back edge along with one of my little maker's markers which are numbered in the bottom corner from Smelly Cat Creations so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a walnut boulder on now again I've already cut these on the capex they were already thickness to size but just to secure them I'm going to use the bottom um, as alignment because of the bevel on this top edge and I'm going to use a domino which I'm going to use the 5 mil set at 16 mil depth with the 20 mil on each side 15 mil on each side sorry because they're 30 mil dominoes and we're going to just use the domino to help align them the border because when gluing up mitres it can be a little bit tricky. do is I'm going to go around I'm actually going to do finish sand this to P180 
just to make it a little bit easier after the final glue up. I'm also going to tape round all the edges on both sides just in case we've got any squeeze out because again we don't really want to be having to clean up the squeeze out because we've already got the finished fern because we've already got the finished finish on this bit. Already for the glue up, which is always extremely stressful. So I'm going to use this dark wood glue from Tight Bonds because uh, it matches with the wall, not just in case there's you know that little bit of extra and um, that I can't get all the squeeze out, out. It's all been masked up just to protect the surfaces while we're doing this. all clamped up as I say just go round bit by bit tightening all the clamps to make sure you get nice even pressure on it. I've got them wiped off as much of the excess as I can do because there was a little bit of squeeze out but again the tape really helps with cleaning up. I'm just going to put some little clamps on the corners just to ensure that all the matches stay nice and flush. Give it another final finish to P180 and then I've used some of this Rubio Monocoat wood cleaner because it really gets all the dirt out of the grain and that's the Rubio does actually react with the grain and with the fibres you don't want all the excess on there so I've mixed up some Pure which is done with 3 2 one with the accelerator and that's my final, my favourite bit of any build and that's getting some finish onto the piece now I would suggest that you do wear latex gloves when you're applying the finish um, I actually went to get some out of the box earlier and I've run out unfortunately so I shall get on and order some more um, just leave that on for about 5-10 minutes and then just wipe it off with a lint free cloth so now what we've got left to do is get some final finished photos <laughs> 